Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Come on in, come on in. Thank you for joining me on this uh, beautiful spring day here at Christleton on the Shropshire Union Canal. Now, those of you that are observant will notice that I'm without Carol today. She's not here, but there's a picture. And now you like a smile. Yes, I promised um, Carol's children that um, I would have her back at home for a Mother's Day. And that is indeed what has happened. Carol has gone down to be with the family for Mother's Day. And I have to say at this particular point, um, get well soon Kate. Uh, her da lovely daughter Kate is currently uh, getting over the old Covid and um, I am gutted for her. But I know that uh, Mum will stay around long enough so they can have a mother-daughter re reunion as soon as they are well. Good. So we are, this week, we are heading up towards Ellesmere Port on the uh, Shoppy from Chester Basin, um, although this was obviously filmed a couple of weeks back, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy the cruise. Uh, so, should we get on with it then? And then you put it out again, and you can see how much teaser you've got. In my case, it's down to here, so I know that I've got just over three quarters of a tank of fuel. This is very much a um, unused uh, section of canal, well I say unused, it doesn't receive that much traffic and in some ways that's quite sad because the bit up to more or less into Ellesmere is absolutely beautiful at places and the obviously Ellesmere Basin where you've got the uh, National Boat Museum is well worth a visit and you'll find more information about that on a previous vlog. But for today, we're not going that far, so we can enjoy some beautiful scenery. It's hard to imagine we're literally on the fringes of Chester here. Isn't this gorgeous? Bring and the reflections are absolutely gorgeous. There's something about the spring and autumn sunlight, it's absolutely beautiful, and the reflections in the water do it so much justice. It's such a joy to be on the canals at this time of the year when the sun's shining, of course. Thank you. 
as you can see, CRT have made the towpath uh, firm surface and it runs all the way from uh, Chester to Ellesmere Port with some distance of about 8 miles, 12, 13 kilometres. Uh, it's used very often for people walking and running, especially as we get a bit closer and out into the countryside which is where our destination has taken us today. under this bridge we actually come to the uh, main part of the uh, Countess of Chester Country Park. It's one of those hidden gems especially if you like walking with dogs especially over on our uh, port side there are acres and acres and acres I believe it was an old golf course at one point and it's a glorious walks some absolutely super tight places and to be honest it's one of my favorite moorings on the stretch of the water it's very very quiet you can hear owls and woodpeckers at night it is absolutely well, it's a prime location, but don't tell everybody about it. You know, just keep it between us, shall we? Yeah, yeah, you can enjoy it too. Now because I wanted to go back into Chester afterwards, um, I actually went up and winded uh, so that I could moor up and face the right uh, direction as I waited for Steve and uh, Chris from Amy Jo Life Board, Amy Jo, who were coming out to join us with of course Smudge, Smudgy Wudgy the dog.
course this time of year when you're cruising on the canal you can come up against all sorts of excitement and as we go under this here a railway bridge now I believe it's called a pretty bridge but I might be wrong probably am knowing me but just the other side of this bridge there was a tree down hmm now we've all heard about the shoppy shelf we know what that can do to your boat and the tree is lying in such a way that you can just about get your boat through but it is very very tight and the bottom of your boat will invariably just skirt slightly along the uh, shelf at one point so it's best to take your time and take it easy although I hope by now by the time you're viewing this this tree has been uh, removed in folks hold it and breathe normally Now it's time to wind. Yeah. Lovely little winding hole this. It's right after this bridge. Now it is quite tight to get round if you don't position yourself quite well enough. Although there is another winding hole a bit further on, but it's quite a way on in Ellesmere. But um, we did it. We'll just speed it up a bit, shall we? Phew, and I didn't touch the side once. <laughs> but it's a different story if there's wind blowing there though. So it's back down this um, short stretch of canal, past my unfavourite tree, and onto the moorings.
before this is one of my favorite hidden gems of this part of the canal and I know that Carol and I went for many many walks here and enjoyed ourselves immensely it's fresh air it's country but there is also one added bonus and it's great for spotting the beluga aircraft as it comes into land I'll show you why <laughs> great was it? Wasn't that great to see the bull, the beluga going over? Quite a cracking bit of filming on my part, even if I say so myself. Uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And uh, next week we'll show you some of the surroundings around the bit where we decided to moor up. Now, <clears throat> um, those of you that will also know that we left a Chester Basin to prepare for our summer cruise which is coming up just in three weeks we actually head off on April the 18th so those that follow the live cameras will be excited to know that we are cruising new waters from April the 18th subject of course to a broadband service and we're very excited about where we're going and the first part as you already know is we're heading towards Crick and we're going along with um, Steve and Chris on board live on board Amy Jo who is <laughs> right behind me as he's doing right he says now we're glad to have left Chester um, unfortunately it left me bittersweet tears I've enjoyed Chester very much but Chester is very much a city of two halves and um, a couple of nights before I uh, left uh, the basin unfortunately some uh, nab decided to break into my fuel tank and siphon off my fuel well not quite all of it but enough for it to do damage to the grill inside so I'm now searching for a lock-in um, uh, fuel cap for the boat but it has left a bit of a bitter taste in my mouth um, but there again uh, we, we can't dwell on the bad things we have to look for the good things don't we and you're one of the good things and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and thank you so much for all your lovely comments and your messages and um, that's it really and if you haven't already subscribed do please hit the subscribe button and uh, press the old bell if you want YouTube to tell you uh, when uh, I next issue a vlog. So that's it then for this week. Look forward to catching up with you again next week and again I'll be on my old lonesome <laughs> but in a different place. But until then, I just want to say, please do look after yourself and keep yourself safe. Uh, look after, stay healthy and wealthy and wise, as I, my grandmother always used to tell me to do. And um, summer's coming. Look, it's t-shirt weather. See you next week. Ta-da. <laughs>